I am Pastor Dele Roshilo, the State Overseer of Deeper Life Bible Church, Ogo State. We are bringing to you the program, The Truth, featuring salvation, life, health, happiness, peace, and marriage, including child training and many others. The message is brought to you by Pastor W.F. Kumui, the General Superintendent of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry Worldwide. Happy viewing. Father, we bless your name tonight. We thank you because we know heaven is ready for everyone. And your people are waiting. Lord, I pray tonight, every area of every life, touch, transform, heal, deliver, set free in Jesus' name. As your word comes, let it bring wonders, signs, miracles, healing, deliverance. Break every yoke in the life of everyone and set your people free tonight in Jesus' name. What you do tonight, we'll talk about for a long time. In our districts, we'll talk about it. In our families, we'll talk about it. In our offices, we'll talk about it. Total deliverance for everyone. Total liberation for everyone. Manifest your power in every life tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Before you sit down, we finally, amen. God bless you tonight. I welcome you to this special night. It's a night of wonders. The wonders of his healing power. The word of a king carries full authority and final authority. Anybody in the realm, anybody in the domain, anybody in the territory, anybody in the kingdom that says anything, that does anything, when the king stands up, no matter who said what he said before, how popular was that person, how great was that person, until the king stands up to speak, and when the king stands up to speak, his word carries full authority and final authority. And whatever Satan has said, whatever evil spirit has said, whatever idol worshippers have said, whatever your dreams have said, whatever your body is telling you, whatever you carry, King Jesus rises up tonight. And he gives the final word. And he gives the full authority. And therefore, every sin has to bow. In your life, every sin will bow. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. We're reading here from verse 4. Where the word of a king is, there is power. Let him enter your heart tonight. Enter your brain tonight. Enter your thoughts tonight. He carries full authority. He carries full power. He's prince and he's king. And tonight, you are delivered in Jesus' name. Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, What doest thou? Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4, verse 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great car. Verse 41. And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? 
whatever storm is in your life tonight, peace be still. Luke chapter 4, verse 36. Luke chapter 4, verse 36. And they were all amazed and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commanded the unclean spirits and they come out. Somebody shout and they come out. Somebody say they have to come out. Somebody shout they will come out. As king, when he speaks, evil spirits will come out. Sicknesses will be healed. Storms will be calmed. Demons will have to surrender. Principalities and powers will live your life. The spirit of death or suicide flee away in Jesus' name. Point number three now. The confirmed wonders of his healing power. Wonders tonight. Where is that wonder coming? Coming upon your life. Wonders. The wonder of healing. The wonder of miracle. The wonder of supernatural signs. Wonders tonight. Somebody shout, Wonders tonight. In your body, wonders. In your brain, wonders. In your blood system, wonders. In your tummy, wonders. In your spirit, wonders. For every member of your family, wonders. The confirmed wonders of his healing power. The promises of God will be fulfilled tonight. The Lord never fails and in your life he will not fail. In your family, it will not fail. As you pray tonight, you'll see the hand of God touching and turning everything around. First Kings chapter 8. First Kings chapter 8, reading from verse 56, 5, 6. First Kings chapter 8, verse 56. Blessed be the Lord that has given rest unto his people Israel. According to all that he promised, according to all, according to all that he promised, there has not failed one word of all this good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. No failure tonight. No denial tonight. Mark chapter 2. Mark chapter 2. I'm reading from the swan. And again, he entered into Capernaum. Today, he's at Bagada. He full power, he's at Bagada. With you over there, he's at Bagada here. And again, he entered into Bagada. That's all the human you have. After some days, and it was noise that he was in the house. You see the house tonight? And straightway, 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 many were gathered together. In so much that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of form. And when they could not come near unto him for the press, for the crowd, for the multitude, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, I believe tonight. When Jesus saw their faith, I believe tonight. I have faith tonight. Tonight all things are possible. I said tonight all things are possible. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. 
Verse 9, whether it, is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, that sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, take up thy bed, and walk, but that ye may know, you will know tonight, but that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, it says to the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, take up thy bed, and Go thy way into thine house. And immediately, somebody shouts, immediately. And immediately he arose, and he took up his bed, and he went before them all, in so much that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. You'll see something new tonight. You lie there, you'll see something new tonight. A new miracle. A new manifestation. A new kind of healing. A new transformation. A new manifestation of the power of God in your life tonight. Mark chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 1. Mark chapter 5 verse 1, and he came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tomb, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no man could bind him, no, not or chase, because that he had been often bound with fetters, and chains, and the chains had been plugged asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. But Jesus will deal with it. Jesus will handle this one. Jesus will break the yoke. Jesus will drive out the evil spirit. And always night and day, verse 5, he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And I say, whatever is in you that should not be in you, come out of that man. Come out of that woman. It has to obey. And he asked, what is thy name? And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. No matter how many they are, how many sicknesses conspire together to destroy you, they are coming out tonight. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was there near unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils and all the demons and all the evil spirits besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits, thousands of them, went out. They're going out. And entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. And they were about 2,000. That's what they wanted to do to the man. And they were choked in the sea. And they that fed the swine fled and told each in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what was that was done. And it says, and when they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed, it's not that he's possessed, that was possessed, past tense, oppression, past tense, yoke, past tense, cancer, past tense, blindness, past tense, 
Failure, past tense. Defeat, past tense. Was possessed with the devil. And had the legion, had not have, sitting, closed, and in his right mind. Somebody there in your right mind. Somebody there in your sound body. They were afraid. They were surprised. Well, your own time has come. Mark chapter 10. Reading from verse 46. Mark chapter 10. Verse 46. And he came to Jericho. Tonight, we have come to Bagada. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great number of people, blind, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, sat by the wayside begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out to, and to say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. They wanted him to miss the miracle. They said, no, no, no way. Today I must get this miracle. They wanted him to miss the touch of Christ. They said, no way. Tonight I must get the touch of Christ. Somebody there tonight. I said, somebody there today. You must get it today. Miracle, you must get it today. The power of God touching must be today. You will get it in Jesus' name. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And he called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort. Rise, he calleth thee. Something is going to happen now. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said, Peter did not talk for him. The blind man said, Mary did not talk for him. The blind man said, You will talk with your mouth. You will say it with your mouth. You will pray with your mouth. A confirmation is coming from heaven upon you tonight. And the blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, And Jesus is saying unto you, Go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go thy way. Thy faith has brought salvation. Thy faith has brought your healing. Thy faith has brought your deliverance. Tonight it will happen in Jesus' name. And immediately he received the sight and he followed Jesus in the way. He followed Jesus in the way. Confirmation. Somebody shout confirmation. Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16, verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Are there believers in the house tonight? Expectant believers tonight? I said praying believers tonight. I said those who are short believers tonight. It's going to happen. I said it's going to happen. And these signs shall follow them that believe. The signs will follow you home. Wonders will follow you home. Wonders will get back to the house with you. And wonders will cross the street with you. Power following you tonight. Authority following you tonight. And the manifestation following you tonight. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. 
they shall take up serpents. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay their hands on the sick. And they shall recover. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord, tell me, the Lord say it aloud. The Lord say it with confidence. The Lord say it with assurance. The Lord walking with them. What's the next word there? Confirming the word. Confirming the word. Confirming the word was signs following. Tonight, wonders. Heaven sent wonders. Tonight, healing wonders. Tonight, liberating wonders. Tonight, mountain moving wonders. Tonight, demon conquering wonders. Tonight, supernatural wonders. Tonight, soul saving wonders. Tonight, miraculous wonders. They are coming your way. These are the days of the promised lottery. The days that Jesus spoke about, the prophesied Pentecostal outpouring and manifestation. These are the days Jesus mentioned that there will be days of greater works. Is tonight. Days of greater wonders. That's tonight. Days of greater healing. That's tonight. Days of greater miracles. That's tonight. Great days of greater manifestations. That's tonight. Great, greater power and possibilities tonight. Everyone. 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 As we pray tonight, wonders coming your way. Why don't you rise up and pray and receive your own portion. And receive your own portion. And receive your own portion. It's there tonight. It's there tonight. It's there tonight. The wonders of Christ's healing power. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Shake yourself from the dust. Come out of that oppression. Come out of the things that tie you down. Be passionate about it tonight. Wonders. In his name. Wonders. By the Spirit. Wonders. Because of the promise that cannot fail. Tell the Lord. Believe as you ask him. Believe as you ask him. Mountains are moving tonight. Mountains of problem. Impossibilities becoming possible. Great, great miracles. Signs and wonders. Marvelous works of the Spirit. Ask and receive. Believe and receive. Thank Him. Believe Him. He cannot fail. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name tonight. We thank you for the holy promise. Nothing can change this. Nothing can reverse this. The promise of healing, the promise of deliverance, the promise of freedom, the promise of victory, the promise of conquering, fulfill it in every life in Jesus' name. 
As your people go home, they go with joy. They go with answered prayer. They go with healing. They go with total deliverance. They go with assurance. They go with the joy of the Lord. Mountains have gone. Demons have gone. You've got your blessing. You've got your miracle. You've got your wonder. Confirmation in every life. In your life in particular. Confirmation. 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 We well, thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. I am sure you are blessed. You can contact us through any of the phone numbers displayed on the screen. However, you can visit us at any of our church locations in the state. In particular, the church state headquarters located at Sam Ewang Estate, Leme, Abeokuta. Our fellowships hold on Sundays, 8 a.m. for the Sunday worship service, on Mondays for the expository and systematic study of the Bible, on Thursdays, 6 p.m. for Miracle and Revival Hour. See you same time, same station, next week. Remain blessed.